And last but not, not least, the three hundred and four million dollar supermax contract that uh, Jalen Brown just got. A lot of people are up in arms about it. Like, man, how in the world you do this for a number two? What are you gonna do when it's time to sign Tatum? I tell you what, they go, they go sign him. He's go, he's gonna get another. He's gonna get a supermax similar to this one. Um, and I, I don't know. They they got at least they got at least two years because I think he's got two years left on his contract with a player option for the third year because he just signed his deal in 2020 um so it's either uh uh yeah two years with a play option right i think he's got left so um they'll probably look to extend him the summer not this summer coming up but next summer um and they both eligible for that super max so you could expect tatum to get the same thing unless this is a valuation process and they're saying, look, we're giving the, we're giving our, uh, our core guys of Tatum and, and Brown two more years to see if we, if we can keep them together. And if we can't, then we got to decide which one we go keep. Because I don't really think Boston is going to have both of these players on Supermax. I wouldn't do it either. Right. I think what they should have done was worked out a sign and trade for Dame Lillard and I would have paired Dame with Tatum and just try something different. Right. Um because Dame is either on the if you get Dame right now, he's on a cheaper contract than than Jalen Brown. I would have done that. Right? Uh because Jalen Brown once his contract extension kick in, he's gonna be making 50 a year. That's crazy. 50 that's crazy um, for number two, but that's where we at. Right. So, uh, but I, I think that's what it is. I, I you know, I, I think he deserves it. You know, this is a good business. You know, uh, I, you know, when you're looking at the money part of it, I'm looking at it like, you know, just business. This is good business. Why wouldn't you negotiate that? Right. I, I wouldn't come to a uh, negotiating table uh, as a basketball player. And part of my negotiation is, how can I save the franchise money to win a ring? Right. I'm I, I'm honestly saying, look, that we're going to win a ring, but I'm going to work hard. You're paying me to work hard. You're paying me to work in the offseason. You're paying me to be available in shape, ready to go um, and give it my all when I come out on the floor. So that's what I'm going to give you for this amount of money. And when we're doing all of that, we should be able to continue to be a championship because I'm that good of a player. And my coach and Jason Tatum is is that good of a player. So we're going to give you all the effort in the world. But I'm not coming in there saying I want to win a championship for my legacy. So let's 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 let me take less money um, so you can get more guys. No, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Like that's that that's only that's only uh two or three guys per decade that uh have the luxury to worry about their legacy. Everyone else outside of LeBron James right now uh, are fools for talking about legacy. Because if you think about all the guys that became before this era, whose legacy gets talked about? Nobody talks about Kareem's legacy. Nobody talks about Pippen's legacy. They talk about Jordan, Magic. They don't talk about Hakeem. They barely even talk about Kobe. They just push, you know, they, they pick the guys who they want to talk about. So the legacy we hear the most is Jordan, LeBron. Uh, we hear some magic. You know, those those are the guys who are, are, are should be legacy uh, concerned. I shouldn't hear somebody like uh, Anthony Davis say, I want to trade to the Lakers today. This is more, this is more than about money. This is about legacy. Ain't no, I promise you, AD, no one's going to be talking about your legacy after you retire. Nobody. When the last time we heard someone say something about Tim Duncan? When the last time we heard somebody say something about Kevin Garnett? Chris Webber is just forgotten. People act like Paul Pierce couldn't even play. Nobody's talking about legacy like that. Right? So uh, I, um, amongst fans legacy don't matter i guess in your mind you you're thinking about legacy in in the basketball community uh what what the the media and what the 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 analysts 
have to say about it because that's going to affect whether you get it Hall of Fame or not. I guess okay, I guess that's cool if if you're going for that, but I wouldn't be going for that. So and, and definitely when it when it comes to uh, negotiating a contract like this, I'm not thinking about legacy. I'm thinking about me getting uh, the the proper pay for what I what I what I bring to this organization, right? So that's the legacy I'm thinking about. The legacy I can, I'm gonna I'm pass down to my family, not the legacy that's only talked about in the basketball media, right? Um, so that's all I had to say about that, man. Uh, appreciate y'all for sticking with me on the episode, man. We'll catch y'all on the next one with the full panel on Saturday. Until then, peace.